very questions and answers. Um, obviously, I don't think I need to introduce anyone. But in case you, you, anybody's unsure of her owners, Keenan Lowe, Derek Malone. So, whoever has questions, raise your hand. Uh, John and Todd will bring you mics. This could be a key for all of you. I, obviously, you knew you were pretty much in the Rose Bowl, but to get a matchup with Florida State and the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, could you just talk about just the matchup itself? Um, I'll go first. Uh, you know, it's you know, it's a blessing. We're very thankful to be you know be able to play in the Rose Bowl, and uh, you know, we know it's a really good matchup against Florida State. I mean, we understand that they're undefeated for the past past two seasons, so uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, I just think it's, it's just an awesome matchup. We, we get to play a team that, that doesn't lose, that, uh, you know, is, is undefeated in their last 20 some odd games. And um, that's, that's, that's a great challenge. And, um, you know, we're, we're excited to, to go back to California and get another opportunity to go play in the Rose Bowl again. You know, like Ian said, you know, we're going to play against a team that knows how to finish. So it's going to be a great matchup. Uh, we're really excited to represent our conference in, in the Rose Bowl. And it's going to be a great one. Back here in the back. Derek is a defensive guy. I imagine you haven't watched a lot of film yet, but you probably just the rest of us has seen Jameis Winston play the last few years. What do you think of him uh, as a quarterback, and what challenges does he pose to you guys? Um, I think he's a great leader and you know, great quarterback. He's a big guy, kind of like Brett Hundley, and you know, hard to bring down. And we're going to make sure we're going to be firing on all cylinders. We've got to make sure we contain him and you know, play our defense and make sure everyone does their job. Uh, we've got to really bring our A game, but you know we're really excited to be in this position to play this team. I know he's going to bring his A game, so we've got to make sure we're on top of our stuff. Another one? I uh, guess for all of you, you guys are seniors, you played in big games, Rose Bowls, Fiesta Bowls. Uh, how much does that experience help you? Obviously, Florida State's the same. They were in a national title game last year, but how much do the big game experiences help you guys now that you're in a semifinal in a, in a Big game with a ton of pressure. Um, yeah, all of us. We've been we were there for the first Rose Bowl, and also for the our first year we went to the national championship. We got to experience the whole week up there. Um, you know, it's a lot of fun the whole entire week being down in LA. You know, we got a lot of events going on, but uh, you got to try to treat it like a regular game. You know, I know it's hard to, and I make it a bigger deal than it really is. But um, you got to not, you know, um, let it get to you too much. You just got to treat it like a regular game and go out there. And just you know, do what you're told, and just trust the process. Yeah, it's uh, you know, we're gonna, we're just gonna treat it like a business trip, like it is. Um, you know, the beginning of the season, we, we, you know, set a goal out to, to you know, finish the season the way we want to finish it, and uh, you know, we got a lot of time to prepare. Um, our coaches, you know, do do a great job of getting us ready, and um, you know, it's gonna be a fun, big, big environment. You know, first playoff game ever, and uh, but that being said, it's, it's a business trip. Yeah, like Ian said, it's a business trip, and this whole entire team, we have, you know, a great mature group of guys, and we're going to be focused and ready to prepare. We've been on the big stage before, and we know how to handle ourselves, so we're really excited. We're going to soak it all in and, you know, enjoy this right and finish the season off the right way. Back middle, Warren. For each of you guys, there's a lot of time, obviously, between now and New Year's Day, and you guys have gone through this before. Um, is What's the fine balance of too many days between now and in game time, or do you, do you prefer to have this much time off to prepare and rest, rest your bodies before you play? Um, you know, we really don't have time off because we're always doing something here. You know, our coach staff, they know what they're doing, um, and you know, we just got to trust in them and, uh, like we do. But uh, you know, every single day they got us doing something. It's not like we're just sitting on the couch all day and doing nothing. Um, so every single day we'll be in here doing something, and um, I think this week with the finals week will be a little bit different. But after that, I think we'll wrap it up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good opportunity for, for a lot of us, uh, you know, to, just to get healthy and, uh, you know, to get everyone back, uh, get Hiromis back, uh, get everyone uh, just ready to go and, and ramped up. Our coaches do a great job uh, of, you know, planning out this, this, this month that we're going to have and uh, with the rest and the work days and, and whatnot. And uh, we just, we just got to get everyone healthy and 20-some-odd and, and 20, 20 days is, is a lot of days to, to get back right and, and then hopefully we can get we can get Pharaoh back up here and, and his presence and his spirit uh, back around the team soon. And um, it's it's just a good good 
opportunity and good time to get guys back. Yeah, they basically said it all. You know, we believe in the coaches, we believe in the process that they set out for us. Uh, we don't have too many days off, but we're going to still, you know, be mentally, physically strong. We're going to keep learning and keep working when we're out there in practice. So it's not like we're just sitting around and relaxing. We're, you know, each and every day we're pressing the envelope and we're trying to get better. So, you know, we're really excited for this next opponent coming up. Gary in the front. I know during the season every Tuesday you weren't really focused on the rankings at all, but this was the final one. I just wondered if any of you folks watched it today or this morning, and if you kind of had an idea who you were going to play or if it was kind of a little bit of a surprise as well when it came out to be Florida State. Um, yeah, I know you all season long you kept asking me about it, but, and I told you I never watched any you know, um, selection thing, whatever you call it. Uh, but yeah, today I did wake up and I wanted to watch it. I just wanted to see, um, you know, who we're playing and where we're playing. And it was just exciting, you know, you know, time for this program to be able to be selected in the first ever college football playoff. It's, you know, it's like history. So um, you know, it was really exciting to be able to see that. Yep, I, I got up uh, this morning and I, I turned it on and, and wanted to watch it for sure. Um, and like you said, this, this is a part of, of sports history, not just college football history. So. Uh, and we're, you know, putting the position that we are in, and we're blessed to be in this position. Yeah, just like these two, I watched it this morning. And, you know, we're really blessed to be in this position that we're in, to, you know, make history. So, you know, we're really happy, and I'm really excited. You know, that we're going to be remember forever to be in the name of the semifinals for the first playoffs. So, I'm really excited. Well, Brian? Our honest, this one's for you, sort of similar to what Derek was asked. I'm sure you haven't watched a lot of Florida State film yet, but their defensive line, Mario Edwards, Goldman, they've gotten a lot of sacks, gotten a lot of pressure this year. You know, you guys go up against them. Um, do you have you watched them play? Have you noticed anything if you've watched them play? Um, no, to be honest, I haven't watched them too much yet, but you know, I definitely will um, study them a lot. But you know, for what I what I know about them, what I've seen a little bit of them. Is, you know, obviously they're big and fast, and um, but as offensive line, we you know, we just gotta get healthy and do whatever it takes to you know protect Marcus and um, keep him clean. And uh, their whole entire front seven, you know, obviously um, that everyone has a lot of respect for them. But, um, you know, we trust in Coach Greatwood, and you know we believe he'll be um, getting us ready. Back middle Warren, and then Molly. Guys, just going back a little bit, um, your thoughts on the inaugural playoff bracket. Um, your thoughts about playing in the in the I call what what I call a tournament. Um, I know it's one day at a time for you, but so just generally, what are your thoughts about about this new format and being part of that Final Four? Um, for the format, it's not you know obviously whatever we say it won't really matter. It's you know not in our control. So the only thing we can worry about is you know, getting ready to play this game. And, you know that's all we can do. But you know it's a uh, you know a huge blessing and you know big opportunity for this program to be able to represent. You know, this university um, and first ever college football playoff and you know, being able to play in the Rose Bowl, you know, it's on the West Coast and we know we know we got a lot of fans, um, you know, that's, that'll support us at that game. You know, it's just gonna be a lot of fun. We just gotta enjoy it and you know uh, just trust in the process. Yeah. <laughs> Basically we're just really excited to represent the, the Pac twelve, you know, on the West Coast. Uh, in, in the Rose Bowl, so that's that's basically it. We don't really have too much control over the entire bracket or anything like that, but we're really excited and blessed that we're in this position to, you know, be representative of the Pac-12. This is slightly off topic, but uh, each of you, what would it mean to you personally if Marcus Mariota wins the Heisman Trophy? Um, I think it would be big. I mean, obviously, uh, that's another thing that we can't control, but um, I think he's done everything um, he can to to win that trophy, um, and you know it's a huge honor to be able to you know, be his teammate and just be around him every single day. I think who's ever around him um, every day just knows the type of person that he is and knows that he deserves it more than anyone. And um, but you know just like this entire team, we, we never really talked about it, you know, in the locker room or even with him. Um, you know, he's just been handling his business and it will come to him. Yeah, he's the type of guy that, that doesn't, you know, obviously he doesn't care about the attention he gets and, um, you know, his plan on the field speaks for itself, but I just think, you know, with, for what the Heisman Trophy represents, uh, he, you know, he's, he'd be the perfect player to, to take that trophy home. 
uh, you know, not not only is he the, the best player in, in college football, but you know, he's he's one of the best people in in, in college football, and, and just just as a person, and as a friend, and you know, just I, you know, I look up to him. We all look up to him. Our, our coaches probably you know look up to him, uh, and he's just a guy that's that's consistent day in and day out. Treats every single person with respect, and um, he's just he's he definitely should win this. And yeah, just to add on to what these guys said, he's you know, a real humble guy, a real you know real great character, everything like that. And I think he definitely is the best player you know in college football. And you know, it'll mean it'll mean a lot if he won this trophy because especially you know he, he works with us each and every day. He'll be just like a representative of, of us because um, we we go through the same warfare, we go through the same you know problems, we go through the same you know practice, everything like that. So I think he deserves that. Anyone, he's an extraordinary person, you know, on and off the field. Right here on the front. Derek, this is for you, for your defense as a whole.